Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on how to transfer an international domain name away from fast hosts. So that's any domain that doesn't end in .uk. And to start the transfer, we need to log into our fast host control panel. So go to fasthost.co.uk and go to the login section and then go to control panel login. And then just log into your fast host control panel using your usual username and password. Once you've logged in, click manage domains. Now this is going to give you a list of all the domains in your account and I'm just going to transfer at this one here, fastestwebinars.com out. So we can see a bit of the information for the domain here. Um, so we've got renewal settings um, and everything like that. The really important thing to check here is to make sure your domain privacy isn't enabled uh, because basically if you do have the name, domain privacy enabled, the transfer is going to fail. The other thing you need to check here is your admin contact. So as you can see here, this is the admin contact for this domain name. And there's an email address in that admin contact. That email address must be an actual mailbox that has the ability to reply to an email uh, in order for this transfer to complete. The reason being is that when we when we request a transfer for this domain, that email address is going to be is going to receive a an email requesting to confirm the transfer. And that email address has to reply. If it's any other email address that replies, it will fail. So um can't be using a forwarder or anything like that. So once you have checked that information, we can click unlock here for lock for transfer. Because at the moment it's lock for transfer, which means it's not available to transfer at all. So click unlock and say Yes, you want to unlock this domain. So now we can see uh, the registration for this domain are currently being updated and we can see that the domain is now currently unlocked. And the next important thing to note on this screen is this auth code because you're going to need that. Uh, and I'll come on to that a little bit later. So now we've unlocked the domain, you can go to your new provider and request the transfer for this domain. And that's the next step. Uh, obviously, you could be going to any provider um, out there, so I can't really help with that particular step. But basically, go, into, go to them and request that transfer. Now, the next thing that will happen after you've requested that transfer is your admin contact is going to receive that email uh, requesting authorization to approve the transfer. If, you, if that email address... Um, isn't up to date or anything like that you should just make sure you edit that contact and update, update that email address before you actually request the transfer one thing that's worth noting at this stage as well is that this registrant contact here do not make any changes to that before you do any transferring because if you make any changes to that there's a chance you can get locked down for 60 days and you won't be able to complete the transfer at all Another little caveat uh, just to note as well is the renewal settings. So we don't generally recommend transferring domains um, within 30 days of their expiry date. And the reason being for that is that if you've got it set to auto renew, we will charge you for renewal 30 days before uh, the domain renews. And if you transfer it after we take payment and before the uh, expiry date, updates there then there's a possibility that it will charge you but you won't have the domain renewed so just bear that in mind uh, before you transfer any domains out so what will happen now is that email address is going to receive that authorization email and they're going to be asked to, to supply this auth code and that's what you're going to need that for that email will need to reply to the uh, re transfer request with that auth code and it has to come from that email address remember and once that's done the domain will be authorized to transfer and it will complete within anywhere between uh, sort of three to nine days and it can take up to nine days so don't worry if it doesn't happen straight away and once that's done the domain should be complete completely transferred to your new provider and that's all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now